Hey guys, um, I'm just getting ready for the day and so I thought I'd show you something really quick. Um, I was hanging out with my friend um, Caitlin the other day. Hey Caitlin! Um, and she, her hair always looks really, I just love the way she does her curls and so I was like, do you, how do you do that? And she was kind of telling me so. I have been trying it for myself and I really love the way it looks and it works really great for like second or third day hair. Um, so this is, my hair is not totally clean. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, let me grab my dry shampoo. I am going to spray my hair with dry shampoo, just kind of get the roots good so that I can absorb kind of the oil, and then I like to just kind of brush it through a little bit so it doesn't look white, you know? So I have a lot of volume right now because hair that's not totally clean tends to have more volume anyway, um, especially once you use dry shampoo in it because it just kind of gives it an extra lift. So anyway, so I'm going to kind of part it on the side, part it however you like. But basically, what she does is kind of that, you know, that technique where you don't use the clamp of the barrel. Or if you have one of those special ones that's clampless, that's great too. But you don't have to go out and buy one of those. You can just use what you have at home. I'm using a smaller barrel because I want my curl to last all day. Last time I did this, my curls lasted for three days. No joke. So, um, smaller barrel will equal, you know, longer lasting curls. So, what I do is I'm just going to grab this from the top right here and kind of keep it right there because what we're going to do is create a little lift at the root and I'm just going to wrap it around and I kind of leave the ends out like I don't wrap it fully really because I'm kind of going to create more of that like touchable beachy kind of wave so hold it for as long as you think you need to sometimes you have to redo one or two of the curls that's okay just get it to where you want it to be um, I kind of grab like bigger pieces and then go back over and grab smaller ones um, to kind of get some more detailed curling. So do you see that, how that is? It's just a little bit of a wave. Don't touch it. What I like to do is let it cool off and completely set um, before I start messing with it. Um, so I'm just going to keep doing that all over my hair. Once again, you just wrap it around the barrel. Keep the barrel... Um, Excuse me, what's the word? <laughs> like, uh, hold it horizontally, that's what I'm looking for. Like, not vertical, not like curly Q up and down, because that kind of gives that ringlet. But when you wrap it um, horizontal to the head like that, like parallel, then you, then you can get that kind of wave. So I'm just going to keep doing this. Um, and like I said, I tend to grab like bigger chunks and then after I get, that way it like gets done fast and then after I do my whole head I'll go back and grab smaller pieces. <clears throat> if you don't let the curls cool all the way and you just run your fingers through them right away, you're going to get a very loose, um, very beachy kind of thing. You can spray some salt spray in it and get that true beachy look. Um, or you can let them set and then you'll have more of this like, um, it still has like a more relaxed kind of boho look but it's not as not as beachy. So now I've done the majority of the hair so I'm just going back over to get those smaller pieces I mentioned to kind of get a little more definition in certain spots now that the overall curl is done. <clears throat> this technique Ashley did recently at a photo shoot that we did too and it turned out really really nice. So once again, when you're getting these pieces up near the root of the hair, see how much lift I have there because of the angle that I held the barrel at and stuff. You want to make sure that the barrel is this way, not this way. You're not wrapping the hair this way. You can do that. Like I said, that'll give more of like that loose, beachy, beachy look, but this will kind of give more lift at the roots so that you have more volume. So now my whole hair is pretty much done. So I'm just going to, at this point, you just pick and see if there's anything, like this one looks a little funny right here on the end, so I'm just going to touch that one up again, just in that spot, but just kind of go over and tweak anything that you want to tweak and fix anything you want to fix or just situate anything that needs a little more love. So now I have that done. So I'm just going to, if you um, your hair doesn't like to hold curl, then what I'd recommend you doing is... Um, you know, spraying it at this point. Um, my hair kind of likes to hold curl and it's a little coarser in texture. So what I'm going to do is just kind of use my fingers and kind of pull apart some of the curl so that I get a little more of a relaxed effect. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a little bit of um, shine spray 
just to kind of give it a little more gleam. Try it out um, and let me know what you think. Let me know how yours turns out and if you like this technique or not. Or show me pictures of what you do, okay? I'll see you next time. Bye.